Hey everyone, it's Daz Ran Trio Tree, and I've got some really cool Monster Hunter Tree Ultimate information for you about some downloadable quests, uh, being able to play with different regions, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go through this right now. Uh, apparently, on the 28th of February, Capcom and Nintendo have confirmed that the following release of Monster Hunter Tree Ultimate for the Nintendo Wii U will be getting a software update, and it will be in April. Uh, that's a, as a response to the Capcom community feedback. Uh, if you haven't checked out the Capcom community, they do loads of different uh, forums for all different games. And apparently, uh, just like this one, your voice is heard on there. And, you know, thanks to the people on the Capcom community, changes are coming for Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. And the changes are, um, the software update will uh, add online cross-region functionality. So all of us here in Europe are finally going to be able to play this game with you guys over in North America and also in Japan. I'm not really sure about the Japan part, um, just North America for the meantime we should say. Uh, gamers will also be able to play together online in up to four player battles, so that's standard but you know it's cool that we can play with uh, you guys over in the Americas. Uh, Monster Hunters will also be able to play the game using just the Wii U gamepad without the need for the TV screen as the software update makes the title compatible with off-TV play. So that's kind of interesting as well. If somebody's on the TV and you want to play Monster Hunter 3, you can, all, you can play it on your Wii U gamepad without needing the television at all. So that's really cool because Monster Hunter Try, I spent over 400 hours playing that game on my main television at home. So something like that would have been handier. Maybe I would have clocked up maybe 800 hours. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend having your Wii U gamepad plugged in uh, on the, the main power supply charge because your battery just won't last for as long as you want to hunt. Uh, Capcom will also be continuing to support Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate for several months after release with additional free of charge downloadable quests. Now we did see something sort of like this on Monster Hunter 3 where bonus quests came out every different month and you could get different weapons from the items the monsters would drop in those particular downloadable quests. The first quest will be available at launch, it says. Monster Tr Hunter 3 Ultimate is releasing across Europe on March 22nd for both the Nintendo Wii U and the 3DS. Nothing has been said about the Nintendo 3DS version. I don't know if you're going to... I don't even know if the Nintendo 3DS version can go online. So if anybody knows about that, please let me know in the comment section. And a question for you guys as well in this video. Which one are you going to get? Are you going to get Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate for the Nintendo Wii U? Or are you going to get it for the Nintendo 3DS? And let me know in the comment section why. Um, as well as that, just in case you're not aware, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate is available free on the Nintendo Wii U at the moment. Uh, tell a lie, it's not free, because it's not the full game. It's only a demo, and you can hunt against a Lagambi, Lagambi or a P Plesiot, I think it's called. A Plesiot. So if you want to download that, it's free of charge. Get a taste of the game. It's coming March 22nd. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to be doing content on my channel, so I hope you stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it informative. Leave it a like if you did, for God's sake. Leave it a like if you did find it informative. I'm going to kick back here, relax a small bit here with uh, Kiyamba and Cha Cha. So until next time, see you later. Bye.